Hello, hello, welcome back everybody from more Subnautica. Today we're going to go ahead and place a scanner room. This should help finding any resources within a certain range of area. It would have been nice earlier in the game, but we're kind of reduced to doing it now. But hey, better late than never. I'm going to try to get... Here we go, this actually works out pretty cool. I like how it actually attaches to the modular part, and then we just go ahead and build it like this. It makes it so much more easier, but this is going to eat up more energy, which means we're going to have to find a way to, at some point get a more stable energy source than just doing solar. And actually, how's that holding up? It's not that bad. Okay, so this thing is going to be interesting because at some point, it hasn't done it already, we're going to start seeing drones. They're not too bad until the scavengers come by and start stealing the drones, and then it's just ridiculous. Let's go ahead and see it operate in, in action. So we actually have it attached to the second one, so actually this is getting to be like a very modular little base. Very cool to say the least. And it looks like what? We have our two our two areas right here, our two little probes. And yeah, we get to actually go ahead and see different resources we could use, like cave sulfur, fragments, heat areas for possible thermal things. Thermal things. Now for actually for like thermal reactors and such. Pretty cool. So how many cameras we got out so far? Just one? Two? So we got just two cameras. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. We actually go ahead and fly around and at some point maybe even charge these things actually yeah there it is it's on the pod can we actually charge it because i never really used one of these before probably a good idea to, to get used to doing it just go bloop oh, okay yeah and just, just shove it in just go ahead and shove it in okay so we can actually go ahead and use these again to find any kind of resources like silver anything else like that which would be extremely helpful especially those times we need to find quartz you can't seem to find it. Yeah, definitely. So actually, we can go ahead and explore down here, but I don't think this is a cave, so it's like, yeah, you get nothing. Actually, hold on, you get that. So, actually, oh, we can flick up and down to cycle the cameras, which is pretty cool. So, can we actually get out of here? There's actually a way to get out of here. There we go. And that will give us a pretty good idea, and actually shows you where the camera is, so it's pretty cool. And of course, I think we have what? Is a fabricator for upgrades, which I don't think we have anything for just yet. We actually make more, but I don't have a computer chip. Though it wouldn't be too hard to make. Scanner room range upgrade, copper and magnetite. May be able to make that real quick. Hold on, let's check. Having too much fun in a scanner room. It is... Do I, I thought I had magnetite, but I guess I, I do, I do, I do. Okay, so. Grab you. Is that gold? Yeah, that was gold. And that was copper. So yeah, we're definitely going to do some search for copper because we done rent through a lot of it. But this will at least help find it and we won't have to take a lot of guesswork out of it. Fabricator means scanner room. Yes. Installing that mod is as simple as going right next door. Sweet. Go ahead and stick you right in there. Said stick you right in there. There we go. And it should give us a better range. Either way, let's go ahead and grab that little note of whatever is down there. I don't even know what it is, but we're about to go ahead and grab it anyway. Yeah, and at some point we do have to find the moon pool so that way we can recharge those things. It makes it so much easier, not only just for the Seamoth, but Cyclops and other devices as well. Definitely makes it a lot easier. Alright, so, fly down here. What do we have? So this does take a little bit more of the guesswork out of it. You never know what you're going to get. You flick it, and copper. Boom. It already knew. All right, so we played around with the camera. Let's go ahead and see the scanner function, to see what else comes up. And it's very similar. It allows you to just go ahead and see what they are, which makes things a lot easier. Pop inside. Very cool to say the least. Let's go ahead and store that ore because you never know when you're going to die, and dropping it in a bad place makes even going back to get it even harder. So let's get to you. Oh, creature egg. No, we don't creature egg. We want. I like the jumbo screen on this too. It's so cool. Sandstone chunk, well, actually sandstone chunk will be like silver and everything else. That actually would be kind of cool. Stalker tooth, we probably need that coming up soon. Again, for our specialized glass. Fragments. Fragments. Interesting. I'm pretty sure it's like metal shards and such, but you never know. Alright, so camera one. Now searching. Searching, searching. I don't... I guess when we get in place, we'll see it. Okay, it's camera two. Did not want to go ahead and zoom out on you. All right, gotta remember. Okay, here we go. See? Tells you fragments right here. 
What are these fragments? So this will make things a lot easier if we could actually get them. Yeah, here we go. Right by the, the crashed ship. More fragments. One, two, three. What are these fragments? It doesn't tell you. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So they do take damage. That is no joke. Okay, so that scanner room. We could probably had that earlier then. It's like right next to us. Okay, and there's probably another fragment for another scanner room, which seems to be a thing. Okay, so this is definitely going to get repaired. I think the scanner room. What are you? What are you? Pretty sure it's scanner. Whatever. <laughs> okay, well, at least we know that works. That's cool to say the least. And it gives us bigger range with that upgrade too, so that's cool. I don't know what the actual distance is, so we'll have to go. Does it give you actual distance? No, it doesn't. Which is unfortunate. So is there anything else we can find around here? Can we actually go down here with this? Pretty sure at some point it's going to be like distance is, you know, you can't go past a certain distance, but still. This would be a great way to go ahead and find ores. So actually, yeah, we're 270, 280, 290 meters away. It's getting a little bit fuzzy, so maybe that's its way of saying, you know, don't go too deep. All right, so let's, yeah, let's not go too deep with this. Getting a camera lost down here may be annoying to actually go back and get. So, all right, so that's pretty much the fun little scanner room option. Actually helps out a lot, especially when we need to find silver, and it's like, where is silver? At least we know now that this makes a big difference with this. Very cool little addition. But now we need to go ahead and get more add-ons for this, so that way we can go ahead and, and get more utility out of it. Again, it'd be great if we could find something for like a moon pool or something, but it does not seem to be a thing. And since I already damaged this one, I'm going to go ahead and just throw it back there and have a charge. Okay, just stick it in there. Bloop. There we go. All right, let's use the one that's not completely busted just yet. See, hold on. There we go. We need to find the more fragments. We need to find limestone chunk. Oh, it's actually a couple things. Wreckage, titanium stalker tooth. So we actually got something else. Shale chunk. So it actually picked up on that around here. That's very cool. Magnetite, quartz. Again, all very cool things. Data boxes. They may be cool too. Heat areas. Of course, we can use them. Unfortunately, no silver. No silver. All right, well, I was hoping maybe fragments. I don't know. Maybe go back with fragments, and we'll try to find something on the screen. Well, it does look like it has a limited time range. It looks like it's around 400 meters, maybe a little bit further out, but still very helpful. We can still find different things with this. doesn't look like there's many fragments around here, though, except for the other two. Oh, there's <laughs> Rescue Pod 17, where all the goodness happened, I suppose. Well, at least where we got the sea moth fragment, so I don't know if I would call that good. Well, sea moth's good. Everything else I went there, not so good. All right, let's go back and see what else we can find. Maybe some silver ore, maybe something else. We are going to start needing to craft some wire kits and advanced wire kits, so they're going to require a lot more silver and a lot more specialized stuff. So we're not going to find much more fragments around here. It might have helped if we would have went further out, but then again, you don't really know. So either way, maybe at some point we could do another scanner thing if we needed to. If not, it's no big deal. These critters all around here. Let's go ahead and just not deal with them. This isn't too bad. This actually makes it, again, a lot easier. I kind of like it. But at the same time, it'd be nice if we could find, like, some super awesome tech. Which I don't think is going to happen around here. So let's go ahead and charge you up with the other one. <laughs> Unlike the other one, this one didn't take any damage. So it's all good. Okay, so these critters are here. Anything else we can create? I had silver ore. I can actually make speed upgrade. Enhance the speed of scanner room functionality. Actually, do we have any silver? Maybe the next thing. Scanner room could actually get upgraded. Okay, well, not too bad. Not too bad. Do we have silver? No, we do not have silver. I wonder if that was one of the things I could have lost. I don't even know. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely need to get food and water in here. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Or I wind up dying down here a horrible death. Right, everything's even alive down here at this point. Actually, oh, we do have silver. Okay, well, I will take that. Actually, I will take all of this. I also still need to get fish. So, where are you at? There we go. Alright, sweet. And... 
that. Now we need to find some critters. Where are you critters? Where are you? Actually, you know what? This would be a great spot right here. Just let it go. Go catch some. Or don't. It's just like, you know what? Whatever. I'll catch what I want to catch. So grab you. Also have to grab a stasis rifle too. We got the recipe for it. Doesn't look like it's too complicated to craft. So we're definitely going to need that. Boomerang fish. Get back here. I said get back here. These things have gone everywhere. Get back here. Get back here, jerk. Seriously. Stasis gun for this would be really good. Because it stops them from moving around. But we're just doing whole, get a whole fish. Okay. Whatever. Take it. Grab traps full. Okay. Well, whatever. You can chill out there for a little bit. Play with the wildlife. Get some food. Yeah, you see, this is why drone cameras are annoying to get sometimes. Because you get these stalkers that like to take your, your, your cameras. There we go. And then they just make a mess of things. So, oh, okay. Well, where do you go with my camera? This took my camera. He hit me and then took my camera. Jerk. Okay, well then. Whatever. We're out of here. Gotta make sure. There's gotta be a way to keep these cameras around here. These thrashers, these stalkers, I mean, again, we'll come out and grab them. Just like that, because they're big, stupid, idiot fish that don't know any better. Well, they probably do. They just don't care. Anyway, can we just put you back, please? Without, without being destroyed. I was hoping we can actually find a way to charge them in there, but it's just like, they, they come out. They come out and hang out. This thing does take a lot of energy, though, so... Again, it's probably worth it if you have a more stable energy source, but yeah, it's, this thing drains. Actually, I don't think I need any more food, do I? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and store this for now, because it'll only be a matter of time. We need to do more. All right, so we do have the silver. Let's go ahead and make that upgrade really, really quick. Fabricator, speed upgrade. Sweet. And at some point, I know there's more upgrades you can do with this because you got a couple of slots here. So let's just go ahead and throw you in here. Boom. Nice. So that actually enhances the speed of scanner room functionality. And then there's the range itself. I don't, again, I don't know how much range it is. I'll have to look up to find out. But any kind of enhancement is better than nothing. The video's over, but there's more where that came from. Be sure to subscribe for more Terraria Let's Plays, Top 5s, and other videos as well as we cover different titles. You can click on one of the videos here for more. Be sure to rate this video accordingly as it helps the channel out greatly. Have yourself a wonderful day and I will see you again next time.